I'll still be winning I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel you know who it is. It's Miss Angel Baby and Mr. Valentino. And we are back with another video, y'all. I know it's been forever. I'm going to let y'all see my eyes real quick. Because, woo. <laughs> we out here. Yeah. We out here in this desert heat, man. I tell you, it is so hot outside today. Yes. So, what we're going to be doing today, we thought we'd just do something a little bit different. I've been seeing a lot of videos where people been going around, you know, showing um different places in arizona so we are downtown phoenix arizona and we're gonna go to one of the places that we people call madison it's like the skid row in um la and it's just a lot of homelessness it's just overwhelming um every time we go down there it just makes us feel so sad you know what i mean um that's just one of the things that we really want to do one day is just be be able to be put in a better position to where we can help as many people as we can. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I'm just running my mouth. Oh no, no, you you doing you doing great. You doing great. But yeah, like like she was saying, man, in Phoenix, Arizona, I swear it is just there is a lot of homelessness out here. I mean, it is bad. And I don't know if you guys heard on the news that Phoenix, Arizona had got sued because there was so much homelessness out here. And we just want to kind of show you guys what is really actually going on out here. So you guys can have your own perspective about what's going on. So yeah, we're going to take you guys to the Madison Homeless Camp. Mm -hmm. We're also going to take you guys to the infamous 27th Avenue. And In Indian School. The track. So we're just going to show you guys a little bit of like, just like poverty places out here. Um, eventually we are going to do, we're working on, we're going to be working on doing showing you the other side as well too you know what i mean mm -hmm. not just the bad side and everything like that but right now i mean it's just like a big deal and it's freaking summer and today it's 100 and what it's like 103 degrees outside yeah so and i mean we get extremely hot y'all like people who is not from out here it's like y'all don't understand it's like do not wait until the summertime to come out here i'm telling you right now there's been times that we've hit 122, 123. It gets freaking hot. But anyway. And July and August are one of the worst months in Phoenix, Arizona. I swear, July and August, it is terrible. And like we, like what my wife was talking about is the homelessness out here. You can just imagine. We just come outside for a little bit and it's hot. These homeless people have to be out here all day long. So yeah. you know it's got it's 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 bad. It's it's terrible. Yeah. Remember what our kids said, um, I mean the girls. One of our our kid our girls, they said they wanna get it was so sweet. They wanna get like a van and they wanna go around and just like feed the homeless and like clothe them and like just help them and I thought that was like so so sweet well it's it's nice that our kids are thinking like and they're that, only you know 16 and 17 and they're already like planning for that mm -hmm. they're like yeah we're planning for that and it's just so it's just so touching you know what i mean and it's like <sighs> and like i said in our situation i don't know if my wife had told you but we were homeless for a little bit and you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. by us having that situation happen to us we're a little bit more sensitive to what's going on with the people out here now mm -hmm. so that's why we're so you passionate. know we're so passionate about it you know what i'm saying i mean like like she said one of these days whenever we get up there and we don't even have to wait till we get up there yeah you know what i'm saying we can start trying to do something now yeah you know just just kind of help out a little bit it might not be able to solve the problem but at least we try to contribute to try to help you know right. what i mean right and and that, that that's all that's all we that's all we can ask for right now is just try to help Right. And yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't be having much, but like, when we see them, like, you know what I mean? We try to give them a few dollars here and there, a little inspirational talk. Mm -hmm. And it's just, just about just the way the world is, you know? It's just like, there's so much that we all can do, you know what I mean? To just make this world a better place. And oh, the thing that was really crazy is that 
this homeless camp is literally like what would you say like a block away from the um, police station the police station hold the, on all the government buildings the government the phoenix suns arena mm -hmm. the ballpark literally a hop skip and jump they can walk from there and you got people in business suits y'all basically i mean I, this is just a figure of speech basically stepping over these homeless people to get in the building it's crazy like yeah i mean like like my wife was saying we're in an area where there's a lot of people that see this you know what i'm saying a lot of important people you know what i'm saying a lot of people with money you know they see this situation going on man and it's like it's like it's not even happening to them you know it's just it's 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 terrible it's terrible it is terrible but anyways let's go ahead and get get a run through here we're just kind of showing you you know giving you a little scoop of what's going on yeah look look over there, over there. Yeah, and this is, this is crazy. Look at that. And they have, they actually like put chains out here. Yeah. They actually put chains out here. To like confine them. To like, you're, you could put basically like, see how they have these right here? Like I guess in between those is where you could set up your tent. You see that? Yeah, that's why they have the They set it up. So you could put your tent in between those chains right there that is so crazy it's, it's, it's really weird because this part of this part of madison this neighborhood oh okay somebody wants us to come around I so know. i'm gonna take the video down but yeah yeah this is, it is this just is. crazy y'all see how they have the little things in between you gotta be careful when you're driving through here because these people they just this, this is their street they own this street oh yeah that guy he looks a little agitated Oh, there are a lot of them. They're probably lining up for like dinner or something over there. And they have like all these little buildings right here are supposed to be places to help them. Like, I guess for their doctors and all that stuff. It's just crazy. And this this video that we're doing, we're just showing you exactly what we're very discouraged about. You know what I'm saying? I mean it's 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 sad. It's terrible to see all that. It's just way too much homelessness. And I'm out here like all the time. I'm like every day and I see this all the time. Cause I, there's a place over here where they give free dental care and free medical care and all kind of stuff like that. And I'm always dropping people off over here. Hold on, I heard that room, that cemetery was for the homeless. Is that true? Yeah, that's a homeless cemetery. Yeah. Like in other words, a lot of these homeless people, they, their families in them kind of abandoned them. So like when they pass away, they just, you know, they just, they, they don't, they have no ID, they don't have nothing. So they bury them here and just put John Doe on their on their gray side. Because they don't know their names or anything, they just find them passed away out here. It's terrible. But yeah, just like just like we were doing right now, we just want to kind of give you guys a view about what we see all the time. You know, it's 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 terrible, man. I, I don't wish that on anybody. Serious, I don't. It's bad. Yeah, it's really sad because it's like I don't really get to see it because like I'm like on the other side But of course like I do sometimes, you know bring the kids We have done that, you know to just show them how lucky they are because like I said we have been homeless before we've never like been in no tent or anything, no. but you know, but we know what being homeless is all about you right know what I'm saying? right and anybody that's ever been homeless that you know do you understand what we're talking about right okay guys we are at the infamous me see indian school and 27. 27th avenue and right there see that 7-eleven that little thing right there used to be the bus stop that's where my uncle was killed by a drunk driver um they ran into the side right there, that building, the 7-Eleven building. She jumped out, and she heard it was somebody else. Heard somebody else. They jumped out and was running. And then I'm going to show them when we go. So, yeah, this right here, this little bus stop thing, they had to take it out. But, yeah, that, and then, like, all right there. But, um, yeah, this is basically 27. This is the track. He going kind of fast though. 
Yeah. You probably not gonna see too much stuff going on out right now because it's like way too hot outside. Yes, this is the infamous 27th Avenue in Indian School going towards Camelback. So they done trying to clean it up some. So yeah, never mind that cracked. Yeah, I was driving on the freeway. Of course, this happens a lot. I'm driving on the freeway and the rock hit my windshield. Cracked it like a mug. Gotta get it fixed, man. That stuff sucks, man. You got this big ass crack in front of your damn windshield. We just haven't had time to get it fixed because we always work in. Yeah, and you know, when they do come out and try to fix your windshield, it takes a little while, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, just never have enough time. Right. There's never enough time. In the dirt. Never enough time in the day. Ooh, I hate that glare. I know, it's too much of a glare. Mmm. But yeah, we we was showing y'all in the hoods. They done cleaned it up a whole lot, though. I must say. Well, see, you, you're you not really getting out as much because when you come around here at night, ooh, man, that's when you see all the exciting stuff going on. Well, I won't be coming <laughs> out here at night. No, no, see, like, I, I work at, at in, you know, the nighttime, so it's like I see a lot of this stuff going on. Dang, this car is going fast. I mean, you know, we just wanted to kind of give you guys a glance of all this crazy stuff is going on out here in Phoenix, mm -hmm. Arizona. Man, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're dealing with this heat out here and everybody hears about it. Phoenix, Arizona's heat is crazy. Really hot. Really crazy. Mm -hmm. Anyways, babe, do you have anything to say? No, I'm just glad to be back on camera. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad to be back on camera with my beautiful wife, Miss Angel, baby. Oh, stop it, stop it. No, I won't stop. I won't stop. I'll keep going. I'll keep going and keep going and keep going. So you will be seeing my husband a lot more, like, on the weekend, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. I will be back on the camera doing it again and again and again <laughs> and again. That's right. I will be back. See, look, because he worked, we both work. The only difference is I work inside the house. Yeah. So it's really easy for me to just, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just turn off my work computer and then just pick up my camera. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. See, and I'll be gone all the time. I'm at work. And I work late hours, you know what I'm saying? So when I get home, mm, I'm late tired. hours, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Late, look. Mm. Oh, late look, hours, y'all. There she goes. There she goes. <laughs> late hours, y'all. Yeah, that's right. Late hours. Hey, I'm like, you've been watching too much of them cries and muckers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. That's Hope right. you guys enjoyed our content for today. Yes. We're gonna do try to do a little bit more vlogging, like on the weekend and stuff like that. Of course, y'all know I still love my little reaction, commentary, tea talk, whatever the heck y'all want to call me. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like she's got her own little talk show going on, man. I'm telling you. And I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are enjoying everything that she's doing on TikTok. I mean, not TikTok. On YouTube. I'm sorry. I got it all mixed up. No, but TikTok, TikTok don't pay you nothing. Yeah, I know. But it's still fun to, you know, get on TikTok every once in a while. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. But y'all can catch me over there on Facebook too at Miss Angel Baby Family Entertainment. Period. It's got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon.